name is Bob Rankin. I'm an artist and art educator. I've been teaching for almost 40 years and painting that length of time as well. I absolutely love what I do. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do many years ago was to go on a scuba diving adventure. And so I got certified here in Raleigh and then my first open water dive was in the Fiji Islands and it was a hundred foot dive. It was pretty scary. Uh, you know that you're in a great place to dive when the dive master has to come back and get you at least 10 different times. And why was that? Because I was absolutely transfixed on the incredible textures and colors of the Fiji Islands. The coral life, the polyps in the water, everything about it just absolutely mesmerized me. So after I got above water I, and, and saved myself, I thought, how can I possibly bring that to use in a canvas? So I started a series of paintings called The Fiji Fish, and it incorporates a tremendous amount of texture. How do you create texture? Well, if you take a look behind me, I have one of my completed Tondo Fiji Fish paintings, and you can see that this has a tremendous amount of texture on it. The fish are textured. This great coral life here is textured. And you just get so many different things that can work together like that. And then I come back in and highlight it, and it makes for a very, very interesting painting. So I start off with modeling paste. This is Liquitex. It's called flexible modeling paste. And it's like working with butter or liquid butter. But because it's an acrylic product, when it dries, it's, it has the stability of concrete. It's really, really thick. That's why I could rake my hand across it back there, and you can see that it didn't damage the painting at all. So I've gone ahead and done the color transition here as if we're underwater going from light to dark. And then I simply want to go ahead and start building up that surface. So let's take a look with this. There's several different palette knives that you can use for this. It's really kind of a personal uh, choice as to which one you use. I use them back and forth all the time. I use a liberal amount of modeling paste. And when I'm doing that, I have, I'm putting it down. I've already done the background color. And so now I'm trying to build this surface up. And you can see that this is sticking up anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch, in some cases almost an inch. It's very, very thick. It's almost like dancing with paint. It just gives you a, a wonderful freedom with it. So I'm laying out the basic composition now and then ridding the palette knife of excess. Come back in with a different palette knife and I'm going to start pushing this around. And you can see right now I'm just barely touching it and it's creating this wonderful fan coral. Down here I'm going to push some of that up again. So this will be a double layer of fan coral. Now let's try, since that's fairly delicate and detailed, I'm going to do kind of large swooping strokes here with a palette knife. You can see that creates an entirely different effect. Now up here at the top, I want to lift with the palette knife. So I'm actually raising this up, lifting, and it's pulling that up, and it gives it a great surface texture. So I've laid it out, I'm taking a look at it, I'm seeing that, that there's a lot of strong contrast here. I have different texture, I have different movement within the coral life, um, the shapes work well, great use of negative space back here. And now this will take probably, uh, with this thickness, depends on how humid it is outside, it generally it can take anywhere from five, six, seven hours, sometimes even overnight, uh, but then it's ready to paint. Hope you have fun with it. Do a lot of experimenting with it. Thanks.